Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're doing something really big today and I'm filming on my phone, so I'm just gonna see how it's gonna look and give it a bash because I tried on my last video and it came out really nicely. So what we're gonna do today is essentially tell you what's going on with the Clubman Bowls. So it's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of things that are changing and I had some like ideas with it and so forth and so that. So what I'm gonna do is essentially we are going Oh, whoa, whoa, where is it? There it is. We're going full, oh, come on, there we go. We're going full fiberglass front flip. Um, just due to the fact that there's just too much damage on it on the, on, on this side over here. Uh, well, I'm going to run it off. Uh, there we go. There's this closer side here. Um, that side there. There was an accident and it's been crumpled so badly. And I'll actually go and show you now, but... In this country, I just can't find any clean front ends without paying an arm and a leg. And being a student, I don't really have the funds. And especially to import them from mini spizzles, it's like a hundred and something pounds a panel. So it just doesn't work out. So we're just gonna take the front end off today, really nicely, and see how that works. And eventually start prepping for the flip, pop, pop, down, flip, fiberglass front. <laughs> Let me go show you what the damage entails actually. So I put the flash on, but as you can see over here, let me just show you a quick example. So you see, look at the shape of this. This is your left hand indicator. Look at the lovely welding that was done over here. And look at the look at the state of the cowling or whatever you want to call that, where the radiator goes. You can see how it's been impacted like this. And if you come to the side here and have a look at that. Now, going to the right hand side, have a look at that and then look how much straighter this side is over here. So, without further ado, what we're going to do is basically fiberglass front end flip swap this bad boy. So, really, really, really keen to get that done. And today I'm going to be showing you how to take it off. So, let's get right into that. First things first, I think what we want to do, I'm supposed to look at the camera, which is really hard. But anyway, I want to try and, well, I'm going to try and drill out as many of the um, spot welds as possible, which is really hard, I know, but we're going to try. We're really going to try. And I'm only going to chop in front of the, I think it's called the A panel or the, I forgot what panel that is called, but on the side over here, on the side of the door, where the, that, that of there, I think it's called the scuttle panel, whatever. But anyway, I'm gonna chop in front of that, but not right now, not just yet. I'm gonna first get all of the spot welds that are everywhere in the engine bay. I'm gonna show you where those are, and then we're gonna tackle it, uh, weld by weld. Uh, really tedious, I'm just gonna put it on time lapse on the GoPro, and that's about it. Let me show you where the welds are. So, coming to the front of the car, you're gonna, here is the right hand side, so where they are situated is on the panel over here. There's a focus, there we go. There's a couple over here. You'll see where the indentations are. So there's one, I don't know, two, three. There's probably about eight or nine that run along all the way, but you'll see where the tiny indents are. That's where they are. Um, and then on top over here, there's one over there. And obviously the same on the other side. You can see where I've started here, drilling them out. Um, and there's obviously one over there. Then you come down to where the lights are and where the fender connects to the front light. I think there's a, yeah, there's a couple over here as well. And then there are some over here, right behind where this grill mounting is. There are, there's one and there's a couple in there. But as I go along, I'm gonna show you guys obviously where everything else is because this is the first time for me. So learning curves, always learning curves. But Without further ado, let's hop into it, put the GoPro on time-lapse and start sending it <laughs> or drilling it. In a successful moment in the vlog, and no, I'm joking. <laughs> so I did this off camera because it's pretty tedious and boring. You can see that this lip is now protruding. So essentially the wing, um, I took my screwdriver over here and literally just put it in the side and just hit it with the hammer. So now, as you can see, it's... So it's it's... The wing is almost completely loose now. Now we just need to get rid of these tacks over there and chop and chop and figure out then where it's connected up over here. But really good, really, really, really good progress so far. Let's carry on and find the rest of the seam molds over there and there and there. Then this wing 
Z are off. So let's send it. So we've made really, really, really good progress. And honestly, uh, it's a little lot harder than I thought it was, but here we go. This is basically it. Um, you can see this whole side fender is honestly loose. So I'm so stoked with that. So now we're gonna have to go to the back and um, basically take out what is sitting, where is it? Mm, over there. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop some, um, I'm gonna drill out some holes on the top here and see if I can't get it off here and then see if we can wait till I have to bring the angle grinder out to cut that down there. But I'm gonna see if I can get this side off. Um, my GoPro died, so I'm gonna finish just this side today and then I have to go study again. So I'm gonna put this one on. Um, maybe you can put it on some time lapse on my phone and yeah, let's carry on getting it done and see what happens. So a day of hard work, not even a day, just about a couple hours, but like I said, it's the first time I've ever done this. So it's pretty hard getting this like job done, if you ask me, I don't know. So this is day one, I'm gonna call it for today, maybe carry on tomorrow again and see what we can do. Get the rest of the fronts off and that fender off. And then we'll start mocking things up for the front flip end. But anyway, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's not a day later, it's two days later. But anyway, we're back on uh, chopping the frontman's club end. <laughs> Clubman's front end. Yo, no, crazy. Anyway, so we've done the left-hand side panel. So now we're going to do the right-hand side panel. I'm going to try to do it even a little bit more meticulous meticulously. Um, even though it is going to be, it is going to need to get chopped. I'm done with most of the um, spot welds on the top here. So you come to the front here grind that off then we're gonna take these spot welds out and then i'm gonna come to the bottom here grind this away and see where that is spot welded onto this panel over here to see if you can take the front end off like all nicely and easily and done and sorted so let's start by carrying on getting the front panel off and then we're going to come around and chop over there and follow this line and then chop it down here again on the seam. seam. So let's get started. As we can see, I've chopped all of this up now and this whole panel is loose, which is great. A little bit more like struggled than the last one. But anyway, it's a, le well, it's a learning progress. Uh, that's about it. Now we're gonna come down here on these, I don't know what you wanna call this, where the seam is. And I'm gonna drill out the pop rivet down at the bottom here, then chop up and around and over here. And then take the wing off and then have a look and see how the rest of the car is. And we're gonna take the front end off as well. So let's get to that. Eventually we're getting to the last day on the chop. Today's the day, or well, tonight's the night. <laughs> it's getting the chop. So we're gonna come to the front of it about an inch 
away from the shock strut mount things. Chop all the way in front of these braces here, pretty much right next to where the radiator is. And same on this side. So don't need to explain anymore. Gonna get the angle grinder out, gonna get the safety glasses, hit the time lapse, and let's chop it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> First side, done. Passenger side, done. Clean, chop, nice. Now let's hop onto the driver's side, chop again. I'm gonna take off the mounting and chop an inch and go. Let's see. Welcome back to the channel. We back. It's been two days or no a day since I chopped this. This is the last um, time lapse you saw. Just gonna basically close it up today. Did a really good job. First time chopping it. It was like a lot of fun actually. Super satisfying. I need to come and clean up in the corners here and clean up where I drilled out all of these. I'm just gonna use my MIG welder and tack it, tack, tack, and then grind it and clean it up in the corners and Basically, that's about it. Just need to wait for the fiberglass front end. And I'm going to show you how to install braces and all of that stuff to the subframe. But, so yeah, sorry, as I was saying, I don't know what happened there. As I was saying, that's effectively going to wrap up today's video, guys. But until the fiberglass front end comes, I might do a couple of odds and ends around the car. Getting it more stripped and prepped and ready for bodywork, paint, prep, all of that type of stuff. Just did a huge order from the UK from Mini Spares. Um, for little odds and ends for the subframes and that type of stuff. Maybe we'll hop onto the motor, the motor soon and see what's happening with there. But sure, as always guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and don't forget to always send it. <laughs> Thanks guys. Catch you in the next one.